I'm going to be explaining every character in Valve's new game, Deadlock, in 30 seconds or less. So here we go. Abram is a tanky, aggressive character in Deadlock who is great at sustaining damage and disrupting enemies. His abilities are Siphon Life, which drains health from nearby enemies, Shoulder Charge, charges forward, dragging enemies, and it only stuns on collision with terrain. Infernal Resilience regenerates a portion of damage over time. As you take damage, you heal for the damage. Seismic Impact leaps and crashes into a target area, damaging and stunning enemies. A great initiating tool. Beepop is a well-rounded fighter capable of disrupting enemies with a variety of abilities, and he's super annoying. Exploding Uppercut knocks enemies back with light damage and an area explosion. Sticky Bomb attaches an explosive that detonates after delay with stacking bonus damage for each enemy it hits. Hook pulls in the first hero hit, dealing damage to enemies and is a great initiator. It's like Blitzcrank on crack. Hyper Beam fires a powerful beam that slows enemies. And he's also really slow while he uses it, but still, it is insane. Dynamo is one of the most versatile supports. Kinetic Pulse is a stomp that launches enemies into the air and deals damage. Quantum Entanglement is a short teleport that reloads and boosts fire rate for you and your allies. Rejuvenating Aura heals Dynamo and nearby allies while channeling. Singularity channels a black hole-like ability, pulling in enemies and damaging them. All of Dynamo's kit is a full support, full damage, and his ultimate ability is just a, one of the best initiating ults in the game. It is so good. Great Talon is a high mobility ranged attacker who uses precision shots, aerial maneuvers, and traps to control the battlefield. Charge Shot charges a long range piercing shot and it hurts like hell. Rain of Arrows glides in the air, gaining multi-shot and bonus damage. And boy, it's a lot of damage. Immobilizing Trap throws a trap that immobilizes enemies who trigger it. Don't stand in the trap. Guided Owl controls an explosive owl that damages and stuns and kills grant permanent spirit power. Every kill with the owl permanently buffs Talon and all his other abilities. Haze is a stealthy assassin focused on ambushing. Sleep Dagger throws a dagger that damages and puts enemies to sleep without breaking invisibility. Smoke Bomb turns invisible and gains speed, but attacking or being close to enemies reveals haze. Like a rogue in World of Warcraft. Fixation gains stacking damage for each bullet hit with extra stacks for headshots. Bullet Dance, AoE ability that fires at nearby enemies with perfect accuracy. Infernus, a fiery damage dealer who spreads burning effects and uses explosions to disrupt enemies. His abilities are Catalyst, spews Napalm, slowing enemies and boosting damage dealt to them. Flame Dash, dashes forward and creates a burning path that hurts enemies. Afterburn, bullets apply a burning effect to enemies if enough bullets hit. Concussive Combustion, becomes a bomb that explodes after delay, stunning enemies in the radius. Again, Infernus is a really strong initiator for your team. Ivy, a support or carry with abilities to buff allies and have solid map control. The abilities of Ivy are Kudzu Bomb, summons vines that damage and slow enemies. Watcher's Covenant, tether a nearby ally in line of sight and share bonus stats and lifesteal. Stone Form, turn into stone, damaging and stunning enemies while healing yourself. Airdrop. Lifts an ally or bomb, granting bullet resistance and causing an explosion on drop. Kelvin, a frost-based support controller who uses ice abilities to slow, freeze, and protect the team. His abilities are Frost Grenade. Throw a grenade that damages and slows enemies. Can also heal allies when upgraded. Ice Path. Creates an ice trail, boosting speed and providing slow resistance. Enemies can also use it. Arctic Beam channels a freezing beam that slows and damages enemies. And it's so annoying. Frozen Shelter creates a dome that heals allies and slows enemies. And you can use this to lock people in a 1v1 or single somebody out or even save somebody. Lady Geist, a self-sacrificing caster who uses health draining and health swapping abilities. Her abilities are Essence Bomb, sacrifices health to launch a damage dealing bomb. Life Drain. Tethers to an enemy, draining health while healing herself. Malice. Sacrifices health to launch blood shards that slow enemies and increase damage taken. And finally, her ultimate ability, Soul Exchange. Swaps health with an enemy with minimum health thresholds for both. Lash. A very mobile brawler who combines grappling and whip attacks and powerful slams. Ground Strike. Stomps the ground, damaging enemies, and deals more damage from greater heights. 
Grapple. Grapples towards a target, restoring stamina and air movement. Great for resetting on the jumps. Flog. Strikes with a whip, stealing life from enemies. And finally, Death Slam. Connects to enemies, lifting and slamming them for damage. It also stuns and slows. McGinnis, an engineer who deploys turrets, healing canisters, and defensive barriers. Oh, and their abilities are Mini Turret. Deploys a turret that shoots enemies and has limited duration and health. Medicinal Spectre. Deploys a canister that heals nearby units. Spectral Wall. Creates a damaging wall that slows and can also zone enemies. Great for locking somebody away from their team or just escaping. Heavy Barrage. Launches a volley of homing rockets that destroys everything in its path. Mo and Krill. A duo that thrives on close range combat, dealing damage while healing themselves. Their abilities are Scorn, damages nearby enemies, and heals with extra healing against heroes. Burrow. Burrows underground, gaining speed and armor. Emerges to knock up and slow enemies. Sandblast. Sprays sand that disarms and damages enemies. I hate when I get sandblasted. Combo. Holds and stuns a target, dealing damage over time. If you've ever played League of Legends, it is just like old Warwick where he would just leap on you and keep you in place. Paradox. He's a great initiator who disrupts and manipulates time and space. Their abilities are Pulse Grenade. Throws a grenade that pulses, dealing damage, slowing, and increasing damage taken. Time Wall. Creates a wall that stops enemy projectiles and deals health damage on contact. Kinetic Carbine. Charges a weapon shot that freezes enemy in time and deals amplified damage. Combined with their ultimate ability, Paradoxal Swap, which is swaps positions with an enemy, gaining spirit lifesteal and causing damage over time. This character, using their abilities all at the same time, is insane amounts of outplay and damage. A very, very strong pickup, but a definitely a more difficult hero to learn. Pocket, a caster who specializes in area control and mobility. Their abilities are Barrage. Launches projectiles that damage and slow. Grants damage buffs on heroes that it hits. Flying Cloak. Sends a cloak forward with a recast option to teleport. Enchanter's Satchel. Hides in a suitcase, dealing damage upon exiting. And finally, Affliction. An AoE non-lethal damage over time ability. 7. A lightning-wielding controller focused on electric damage and crowd control. Lightning Ball. Shoots a lightning ball that damages and slows. Static Charge. Stuns and damages enemies around a charged target. Power Surge. Adds a shock damage to bullets that chain to nearby enemies. It is a very, very strong tool that is used for jungling or just farming. Storm Cloud. Expands a damaging storm cloud with increased bullet resistance. Shiv. A ruthless assassin who excels in stacking damage and getting quick dashes as well as executing low health enemies. Their abilities are Serrated Knives. Throws knives that damage, slow, and stack damage over time. Slice and Dice. Dashes forward, damaging enemies, and an echo retraces the dash when the rage is full for bonus damage. Bloodletting. Defers damage taken. Activate to regain health. Now their ultimate ability, Killing Blow. Leaps to execute a low health enemy or deal heavy damage. Vindicta, a sniper and aerial combatant who uses tethers, flight, and long range attacks. Their abilities are stake. There's a stake that tethers enemies to a location. Flight, takes flight, dealing bonus spirit damage. Crow familiar. Crow attacks and applies a bleed based on the enemy health. Assassinate, fires a long range shot with bonus damage to low health enemies, granting bonus souls on kills. Viscous, a durable brawler who uses goo based abilities to control the battlefield, slow enemies, and protect allies. I like to call them Flubber. Their abilities are Splatter. Throws goo that damages and slows enemies. The Cube. Encases an ally in goo, removing debuffs and increasing health regen. Puddle Punch. Punches enemies, knocking them back and reducing their movement. Their ultimate ability is Goo Ball. Transforms into a Goo Ball, damaging and stunning enemies with high resistance. Warden is a strong initiator who uses his abilities to debuff enemies as well as lock them down. Their abilities are Alchemical Flask. Throw a flask that damages, slows, and reduces enemy damage and stamina. Willpower. Gains a spirit shield and a speed boost. Binding Word. Curses an enemy, damaging and immobilizing them if they don't move. Last Stand. Releases pulses that damage enemies and heal based on the damage dealt. Wraith. 
my personal favorite, a mystical trickster who combines teleportation, telekinesis, and rapid fire attacks. Their abilities are card trick, throw a summon card that targets enemies. Project mind, teleports to a target location. Full auto, temporarily increases fire rate, sharing half the bonus with allies. Telekinesis, lifts and stuns an enemy, dealing damage upon release. Last but not least, Yamato, a strong melee fighter with a transformation ability that grants temporary invincibility. Their abilities are Power Slash, channels and releases a powerful sword strike, flying strike, grapples to an enemy, damaging and slowing them. Crimson Slash, damages and slows enemies. And finally, their ultimate ability, Shadow Transformation. Transform into an invincible form, gaining refresh abilities, infinite ammo, and damage resistance. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and wanted to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button uh, and I'll see you next time.